Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another movie review. <laughs> it had been a while since I had seen Army of Darkness, but still one of my favorite horror films of all time. Not it I wouldn't exactly call it a, a true horror film because it's more of um, a B movie, which I love dearly. I grew up with them when I was a little kid. <laughs> and the humor in it is really terrific. And uh, Bruce Campbell is way hot. Just love him. And I learned from uh, a friend of mine who's like a sister that this was actually part of a trilogy. There were two movies before it. Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2, which I haven't seen, but I will, since I'm a, a big fan of the zombie genre, and uh, I enjoy films like this, that <laughs> they're kind of, uh, well, they're, they're not really the best movies ever made, but I think that this was actually a really great film, on account of because the, the lines are epic, and there's a lot of action in it. Well, it's mostly violence, but it has a good storyline. The storyline begins with your your typical um, hardware hardware uh, salesman named Ash, and <laughs> he discovers a book called the Necronicon, and this is a book that was bound in human flesh and uh, contains Sumerian script with really bizarre uh, burial rites and uh, resurrection rites and spells and when he touches it his right I think it's his left hand his left hand becomes infected and he has to cut it off before his whole body becomes infected and he dies but through through some strange um, <laughs> set of circumstances there is a, a singularity that opens outside of this old building where he found the Necronicon to begin with well he and his girlfriend and um, it takes his girlfriend away from him but we really never know what happens to her where where she ends or what occurs with that I, I just assume that she was caught in limbo somewhere because we don't really hear anything more about her it's, it's more about uh, Ash and his character and his machismo and I really love Ash. Ash is just a badass character and he is just awesome and <laughs> uh, a lot of these lines I absolutely adore um, good, bad, I'm the one with the gun and uh, give me some sugar baby and uh, he says uh, a lot of other lines that are just terrific and I can't tell you how much I adore this cult movie and <laughs> it remains one of my favorites to to this day and just because it's uh, kind of hackneyed and and hokey and corny it's a great movie if you enjoy horror and um, the walking dead and just a really interesting storyline and uh, <laughs> Sally forth, Sally forth, Sally forth, and I, I love that part. It's a, another one of my favorites. That's actually the the evil Ash. You, f you learn about him later. There's a there's a reference to um, the day the Earth stood still. Their their magic uh, their magical words are Klatu Barada Nikto, and of course there's a running gag with that, and. Um, <laughs> They do a, an homage to Gulliver's Travels. It's actually Gulliver's Travels, um, Gulliver's Nightmare, <laughs> to put it more uh, specifically. But it's a really excellent movie. I, I would give it four stars. I, I love it. Two thumbs up. And I know that um, other people would say, well, this is one of the worst movies ever made. It, it's really not because the, the stop motion with the skeletons, I thought, was really quite well done. It did look kind of jerky. I think it was still in that era where they were learning how to do um, stop motion uh, with more fluidity and make it look more realistic. But with a lot of the the scenes with the the um, undead, 
uh, they didn't look real at all. You could you could tell that they were um, people that had masks on, very grotesque masks. But <clears throat> it was uh, still, I think, pretty impressive for the time that it was made, and uh, just a <laughs> terrific uh, homage to other films. And uh, when they start making uh, implements to defeat the the evil army of the undead it's probably one of my favorite film favorite scenes in, in the entire film besides when he starts kicking ass and, and taking names and uh, this wasn't the one where he says it, it's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum and I'm all out of gum I don't think this is the one no this isn't the one this I think it's evil dead where he says that well, I haven't seen it so I don't know but it's a uh, this movie's great <laughs> <laughs> it's terrific. It's action-packed, and um, you can let your brain go on autopilot because you know what's going to happen next. But it's it's funny. It's uh, it gives you a good scare. Well, it's not you know scary scary. It just startles you in some places when uh, the uh, characters come out of nowhere, like the bones coming, uh, the skeletons coming up from the grave, and their hands grabbing Ash and beating him up. And I love that. It's just. <laughs> so comedic, and uh, other than that, I I love Army of Darkness, and I'm hoping that I can see the two previous films so they all fit together. But um, I will review those in the future, and looking forward to doing it too because I'm a big fan. But um, other than that, if you really want to see a good B movie with excellent humor and just terrific action adventure scenes and memorable quotable lines then this is the one and had it not been for this entire series we would not have uh, Duke Nukem which is one of my favorite video game series of all time and I just have to thank the creator of Army of Darkness for that because without you there would be no Duke and where would we be without Duke Nukem that's the only question I have to ask you and will there ever be a Duke Nukem film I don't know Fingers crossed, here's hoping, but if not, and we still have a video game, so, and when we have Armory Darkness, so, that makes up for it. <laughs> so, that's about all I have to say about uh, the film, and I'm really looking forward to seeing Evil Dead 1 and 2 in the future, so, stay tuned. <laughs>